Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling today? I'm glad, very happy. So what is happening today in your life? Uh, I'm so happy. Now I value the mirror in my house. When I look at myself, I say, Jesus, the Lord is great in my life. For seeing me as using me to be a mother is a very grateful thing. Oh, today is your baby's uh, dedication, yes, it's my eh? My baby dedication. And what's the name of this wonderful baby? He's Costadino. Oh. Okay. Yes. So you're, ha you're happy to prayer. be a mother, eh? Yes, it's very good. <laughs> okay, you congratulations. See, says, Time wait for no, no one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. And God bless you. Yeah. Give her baby. <laughs> Maybe they can't for us. this is your friend. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> but we know your name. My name is Faith. How are you feeling today? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling happy. I'm here because of course that we got the dedication. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wake up. So that he will look at you and be proud that I have a daughter in Kodesh. When you are living, no, it's talking how he will be able to trust you to the end. Lord, you are the most high. Hallowed be the name. 
called you are the most high. Hello, be thy name. I woke up strong on a Monday. I go to gym on a Tuesday. Then to the studio on Wednesday. I walk it out till Thursday morning. I be chilling on a Friday. I play some shows on Saturday. If you ask me what my best day is, it's when I praise you on Sunday morning. Oh, I got my truth in my mind.
Oh, 
She's dedicating baby, and you are here. I want to tell you the God of redemption is the winning God. It's the God that does not waste time. You can see the sister dancing with her healthy baby. After some month was finished, you know, we know the rich nine months we go throw up. We go shoot them up. They be like their mama. was dancing there. Eh, how many do not bring out three? Mm -hmm. Are you seeing it? We are touch and go. Somebody shout hallelujah. Two so weeks time, you are coming here to witness another wedding. Okay. And before you know it, it's nine months, not a pass, you will make it. <laughs> and you come for the education again. What are you waiting? Ask them, what are you waiting? <laughs> Jesus is God. We come to dedicate our song to the Lord. And I want everybody to cooperate. I want everybody to be silent and listen carefully. Because dedication is an important ceremony in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. We saw when Jesus was dedicated. And I know that you that is here today, you have the privilege to rededicate your life to the gospel of our Lord Jesus. I don't know what they dedicate you to. It could be a wound, shango, water, river, whatever they dedicate you to. I know. But today, by this dedication, you will rededicate yourself Amen. to Jesus, Amen. the only Savior, Amen. who has the power to redeem life. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And this ocean, I want us to be on our feet as we welcome the servant of God, whom God is going to use this afternoon to dedicate, to set this baby apart Amen. to the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You might know the baby's name, but today is the official day that you are going to know this son's name in Jesus' name. Let's be on our feet. May we rise. Hallelujah. Somebody got to talk Greek here tonight. Amen. Amen. So that the Greek brethren will understand what we are saying and doing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. First of all, I'm going to be very brief just to tie the knot. And I will tell you what the education of the child means. Because many play with it. Many think it's not important. So far, they are born. They don't punch out. They are born. They don't punch out. No. Or it's more than that. In the sight of the giver of the child, before God, dedication is very important. And that is why all of you are gathered here. As you gather to witness the joining together in the marriage, and so you are also gathered to witness the, the gift of that marriage. What, what you are about to witness is a gift. You are going to understand today is a gift to this family. And in return, because they have the fear of God and they love God, they are returning the child to God. 
Παίρνουν σήμερα το παιδί τους και τον αφιερώσουν. They give out that child. Το δωρητό αυτό του παιδιού. So that is why it is to acknowledge God, to know that God is the giver of the church, the child, and also to bring the child before church, before you and I, and promise to be a guidance, praying for the child, for the upkeep of the child. And so when by doing so, and that's the thought. Then you and I, Miss, is entering to covenant. Then we see my sympathy. As the brothers have already signed a covenant, that they will raise an altar in their home. For the contraption that they will build on that altar. And face their responsibility. Me, 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 the nota. And make sure that the child is brought up in the way of the law. An atmosphere of peace. An atmosphere of peace. Where God is fear. Where the os party of the servants of the os. And so, when you as a mother and a father, you have got the knowledge of this. So you will see the importance of bringing your child before the Lord. Because it's only God that can give the child. I want to go ahead. Okay, I want somebody to open the book of Deuteronomy for me. Deuteronomy chapter six. Four to seven. Let's get four to seven and see what the Lord says there. Praise the Lord. Amen. The book of Deuteronomy chapter six, verse four say, "Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord." Verse five. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God mm -hmm. with all thy heart, mm -hmm. with all thy soul, mm -hmm. and with all thy mind. Mm -hmm. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. Mm -hmm. Verse seven. Verse seven. And thou, thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest. In thy house, and when thou walkest by the walkest by the way, and when thou leest thou, and when thou rested rested up. Verse eight. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as a frontlet between thine eyes. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. That was the first instruction concerning child education. Hallelujah. Amen. That the word of God is the primary, is the most important. Even when we lie down, the child must be taught. When we are going the street, we shall make sure the child has the word of God. In all we do, we should bring the awareness of God present before the child. Before what? The child. And that is the first commission. And that is why tonight we are going to command, command the prayers to love God. The prayers must what? Have the quality of God. Love God. So that they can fulfill Deuteronomy chapter 6. Αποδείξουνε ότι αυτό που λέει ο Δευτερονόμιος τα 6 Βες 4 το 6 Βέσσερα και 6 Because the reason is if they want their child to one day acknowledge the living God Άμα θέλει το παιδί τους κάποια στιγμή στη ζωή του να προσάσει το Θεό No matter how the child wanders away Ανεξαρτήτως άμα φύγει η διαλέξη ή πάει στο κακό το Θεό μου 
No matter how the child is growing, it's influenced by affluence of the world. Because the day is dedicated to the Lord. And the name of the Lord is called upon the child. By the church. And God will maintain his name. And one day, that same child that may wander away, that may have gone away, will come back to God because of influence of dedication. Whatever is handled to God is not a waste. And it's not lost because it's with God. And two, Deuteronomy makes it clear that is the duty of the parents to teach the child godly way. The church may provide Sunday school class. Η Εκκλησία μπορεί να προσφέρει ε, τάξεις και μαθήματα ε, προς αυτό το τομέα. Αλλά δεν θα είναι αρκετό. There is a special instruction from the parents. Είναι μια ειδική συμβουλή για τους γονείς. To explain to the child the value and the importance of God. Να εξηγήσουν και να μάθουν στο παιδί τους το πόσο σημαντικό είναι ο Θεός. And you all will agree with me if some of us who have heard God a godly prayers, our life will not be the way it is today. Who are praying for us every day. Who are teaching us the will of God from the child. From our grandmother to our mother to ourselves. It will clear the future for us. No one follow God and walk in darkness. That is why your child. That is a gift. That is what? A gift must be given to God. To look after him. To look after her all the days of her life. It's very, very important for you to notice in the book of Psalm 127. So we go to Psalm 127. Somebody get that straight for me there. Psalm 127, verse 3. Read before. Praise the Lord. Psalm 1, 2, 7, verse 3 it says, Lo, children are an inheritance of the Lord. Children are what? Inheritance from where? Of the Lord. Children are inheritance from where? From the Lord. It's not by your power, it's not by your beauty. You can be built, no children inside you. It is an inheritance, something you inherit as a result of good service, as a growth of the law, which is the first factor in the Deuteronomy of the law. Hallelujah. That is why you may be poor, you may be begging food, you may be even be eating from dustbin, but you have 15 children. Hallelujah. But you may as well as be, have companies, chains of businesses. You are going from one prayer house to another and looking for a child. You see, say it's not by mind and it's not by power. So it is an inheritance that the Lord gives you as a reward of your stewardship towards Him. So when God gives you that inheritance, you play with it. How many of you, your father, your grandmother, your, your, your papu, will give inheritance and you play with it? Is anybody here? Your father leave estate for you. Your father leave companies for you. As you inherit it, you grow, you, you run into wet. Do you play with it? 
we don't play with it. God has given a child to this family as an inheritance. It's not their power. They are not even qualified. They may not be a good Christian. They may not just drop the going to church. They, they may not even believe. And some of you don't believe. You believe in the power of money. You believe in the power of doctor. And that is your level of belief. But you don't believe this word and what Jesus said. That is the final authority. And that is why I say it is a heritage. And in continuation, what did he say? He said, and the fruit of the womb is its reward. And the fruit of the womb is not by might, it's not by power. Your womb might be, as doctors say, it's fine. Nothing but nothing you put there that produce nothing. Hallelujah. But when God commissioned it, it became a reward. Hallelujah. It became what? A reward. A reward. It became what? A reward. It became what? A reward. A reward. That is why when you come for child dedication, you listen and know and understand that it's not by strength. It's not by power. But God chooses who he have mercy upon. And the chosen who will share his love and shower his mercy. And that, that inheritance and reward will be for this family and it become a permanent thing. If you are to buy a child, those who bought child, you know that it's expensive. Hallelujah. And God gives to you free. You didn't do no job. Hallelujah. And it just comes. You didn't go to you didn't go to doctor for injection and injection and injection and injection. The child just come. The and you can see that it's not your power. So let's to teach you a lesson to trust God. And recognize God. In all that He has said. So concerning His blessing. And first and foremost, God is God. And his goodness cannot be compared with men. I say his goodness cannot be compared with men. His kindness cannot be compared with men. That is why you must not play with a child that God has given to you. And there are many children there that are born. And they do not know the value. They did not recognize the sovereignty of God. They don't know the value of those times. Children are very important. And when you are in the faith, you must take care of them. I say you must take care of them. And with that, this gift of the womb, this gift of blessing of God, marriage is frustrated. And when marriage is frustrated, it's as a result, there is no what? Heritance. There is no what? There is no heritance. When a couple marry, and after one year, two years, three years, four years, no child, the, the girl is in trouble. Hallelujah. Why is he in trouble? The mother-in-law will say, you must go. My husband, my son is a man. 
Or oh, the oh, just me address. He doesn't want another man. Let's tell you another one. He wants a woman. Let me give me Are you seeing it? So that is why you must give God the praise, the glory, all the time that you marry and subsequently you are given, you carry your own inheritance. God said to you, Hallelujah. <laughs> Maintain this gift. And when you maintain this gift, God will add more. It will add more to this gift. Yeah. Your responsibility is to care for this gift. Because it belongs to the giver. You are just a caretaker. You are just watching over this gift. You will give account of this gift. And that is why men and women in the Bible <laughs> that first before us collected this gift return it back to God. Give me another one, 1 Samuel, Samuel 11, 1 verse 11. There is a woman who was barren, and at the time she now seek the face of the Lord, and the Lord blessed her. And went back to God. It said, Boy, it that is what his family is doing today. Are you there? Yes, yes sir. Praise the Lord. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. It said, She was vowed, and she vowed a vow, and said to the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt indeed. Look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid. But we give unto me, unto thy handmaid, a man child. Then I will give him unto thee, unto the Lord, all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. Thank you. Yeah, did you hear this thing to that? That was the greatest prophet ever recorded in the Bible, whose world never fought on the ground. It's from the womb of an animal. And the same today, I'm using to encourage you not to be selfish with the gift that is given to you. As we was done unto us, and some of us were not dedicated because of our diabolic backgrounds. And when we were born, we were dedicated to something else, something that was not godly. Hallelujah. Thank God for his mercy, the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, and we were redeemed. Anna Anna went to the church and bring Samuel and gave to God. And why did he do that? Because he prayed unto him. And he took his own part, his own portion. And if it is some of us, we will say, I will I give my first son out. Because we are very selfish. We like receiving from God. But we do not know how to give back to God. But Anna wasn't like that. He make a vow. He stood by the vow and returned the child to God. After Anna had done that, God did another wonderful miracle for Anna. How many children did Anna have later? Children of God, do you know? You don't know how many children they have. That's why you are here. Hallelujah. Amen. So because he gave up one, God gave him some number. Who knows the number? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You should know it. Read your Bible. God gave him another good five children. He gave up one. And God gave him five. 
So you have nothing to lose when you come to dedicate and handle your child to God. It's the right step in the right direction. What about the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 22? Another wonderful example. Because if that has not been done, people will question why should we dedicate a child? Luke chapter 2, verse 22. Here in that place, we saw Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. They took their own inheritance. And they never sit with no at all. They went to the church. And Jesus was brought to the church. He was dedicated. And today, you are witnessing another dedication. Which I believe and I pray. If you were not dedicated when you were born, it's an opportunity for you to be dedicated to me. And you ask God, here I am as I witness this child dedication. May I be dedicated. And as long as you are dedicated, your life will never be the same again. You begin to do the things of God. And do the and walk in the, the will of God. That is the purpose of this day. Because God is interested in you. So don't see child dedication as a waste of time. It's very, very important. Especially if you are a godly family. Especially if you come from a Christian home. Especially if you know that you love God. The gifts, the heritage you took from God, must be returned to him. To watch over him or her, to keep him all the days of his life. Right from the day one, you handed him or her to God. And God is watching over that time. Who God watch over cannot be taken by evil bed. Who God watch over cannot just disappear like that. It will fulfill life. And it will fulfill his destiny. Or her destiny. That is the purpose of God. And I join you as we call the parents to bring forth the child for prayer. There are some of you that are under the sound of my voice to examine yourself that you may rededicate your life back to God. It is one of the things that is so important that does not cost you money. I say, God, come into my life. I rededicate my life. I want you to be in charge of my life. And once you do that, you are in the right time with the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is on that note that I call sister and brother Nicholas to come forth and bring the baby forward for dedication. And why they do that? We also want to call on the godmother of the child to comfort her husband. As I said, they have completed an oath. To raise this child in the fear of the Lord. A copy of this goes with them. Hope is bear records for the church forever. And before you that are witness today. But adventure, if we want to go detail into child education, we will begin to call the family's name and the generation and what generation is this child. But we are not going into that. 
is to tell you the theological importance of child education, of which give joy. The, the mother of Miko is witnessing another generation and another generation, and which is the blessing of family. But we thank God that today we all are witness to this. The name of our son, the Christian name they have given him, is Dua. It's a Dua name. We have Constantinos and Osahe. 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 Okay. Lucky. 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 Constantinos is a great name. Constantinos is a great name. Then we call him up. And Osahe Rume is the name. Osahe Rume is the name of the name of the name. And Lucky. You go Lucky. It's an English name. The name of the name. So his name is complete. Thank you. Thank you. And the Godmother. You know now. Who is standing there before you, the church and God? Also partake in the oath to make sure that in the ascent of this family is taking a responsibility to make sure that people and um, Constantine didn't walk in the way contrary to the Lord. To help the child to grow to nurse the child, to be a praying woman for the, for the child, and to make sure it's not the child. You are a godly child all the days of his life. As long as God keeps him keep her alive. So that is the importance of you calling a grand uh, family, a uh, grand uh, spiritual mother and uh, the family to come together in a time like this. To give them the grace to carry the work. Liberty, Lord, we'll give them that opportunity, Lord, we'll give them the strength to carry out that in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a combined culture of Greece and Nigeria. But the culture of Christ is what's prevailing here. Amen. And that's to bring up a child in the way it will grow. That when it grows, it will not depart from it. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, we pray for the child, the laughter for the child. We handle, pray for the prayers, for the Godmother, and before the brother person. Most of We will rise on our feet as we handle this child before the Lord. We present this child before the Lord. We present Costa Tinos, Sahil Mena, Loki, before the Lord. Now from today, this child is being set aside to fulfill the purpose and the will of God. To walk in the will of the Lord as he grows. This child will not be found in a dangerous list. His name will not appear among the wanted one. He will not walk against the purpose of his destiny. No bad company as he grows, he will always be different. He will shine as a light. He will shine as a star. No man will rubbish his star. No woman will rubbish his star. His star shall be as the Lord has designed it. For he said in Jeremiah, they know him from the womb. And he said also in Jeremiah that the purpose of this child is for good. God's plan, thoughts, is for good and for excellence. Nothing evil will come before this child. He's going to be a delegate of God, an ambassador of God, a servant of God. Amen. His name shall not be one that the whole world is looking for. They will always look at him to solve the problem of the world. Amen. And that is what we are delegating him for. Amen. That's why we are setting him apart. Amen. That is why you are here to pray and say, God, take over this child. 
the father and the mother have no control over this child. It will grow and be influenced by the world system. But in the midst of that, your prayer will prevail. Amen. Your coming here today will not be a waste. Amen. That Constantinos will grow up. Osahelma, God will always will hear his prayer. Amen. When he cry in the morning, God will hear him. Amen. He cry in the evening, God will hear him. Amen. When anything becomes difficult in his life, he will remember this day. Amen. When anything becomes tough, he will say, Yes, my name is God, answer his prayer. Amen. And God will assign him immediately. Amen. His name will speak for him Amen. wherever he goes. Amen. And the Spirit of God will ever be with him. Amen. Because he's been set apart by the church. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In sickness, God will be there for you. Amen. In pain, He will be there for you. Amen. In challenges, God will take charge. Amen. Because you have come to Him, you have need before His altar, Amen. and before His people, His mercy shall rest upon you. Amen. He will wipe away your tears, Amen. and give you the strength and the courage to take care of Constantinos. Amen. That you will know that yes, you have been in the presence of the Lord. And God will smile on you. Amen. His face will be bright on you. Amen. That you will wipe away your tears and you wipe away your worries. Amen. You wipe away all your troubles. Amen. And you will see that since you have this time, blessings of God, the windows of God has opened unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the weakness, the, the weakness of this crowd that are here. I bless you. Amen. I bless you. Amen. As they pray for you, they bless you. Amen. And they will go home individually and be praying for our son. They bless you. Amen. That you will know that you are not alone. Amen. And the God of Israel will be with you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Father, as you accept this responsibility, this child is yours. You will bring him all in the will of the Lord. You will bring him with fear of the Lord. Everything you need to assist him grow, God will provide for you. The wisdom you need to teach him, 
to support him, to support the parents. He will be there in the name of Jesus Christ. And bring him up with the will of the Lord and God will honor your prayer and we honor your tears. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Even when things go wrong, when you lean down and pray as you are kneeling before God today, He will hear you. Amen. And today, this responsibility has got more to Him, God will not be in vain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will not fail in this duty. Amen. Because God has chosen you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God will keep them and preserve them. Amen. The grandparents, both home and abroad, Nigeria and Greece, Yes. That God will keep them. Amen. God will preserve them. Amen. This our son was that not will give us a will bring a joy to them. Amen. A joy unto them. Amen. When they hear his name that God has answered their prayer, it will, it will, it will manifest really that God has answered their prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, that these have united the families, they have bring them together the more, increase and grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Normally we issue a certificate to the child and this is the presentation of the certificate to them. To Sister Felicia and Nicholas. This is the property of Nico Constantinos. This is his property. This is an evidence that they have handed to the Lord. He will keep it as much as he remains a baby until he finally becomes of the use of it. So I hereby in the name of the Lord I'm going to rule and the child. This is the word of God which shall not depart from him. Every day before you put him to sleep, you open the children rhythms inside here and read to her as we read the Torah for you and pray with him and send him to bed. The minister is presented by the church to him as a weapon of cross. Hallelujah. Let's go. If I our sister will testify what the Lord has done for her. Both of you. Say something to the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, the hour has come for you to know that God answers prayer. Let her tell us what God has done. Amen. Before I say what I say, I just have one special number to give right now to my Lord. Listen and confess. Faithful God, oh faithful God, oh faithful God, oh faithful God, oh you deserve the glory in my
claim it that it will be easy for you in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, I'm very small. I call, even when I send your message, people will say, I'm so joyful. I pray that God will give you all your heart desire that is more than mine. If you, if you are looking for a husband, you will see a husband that understands you. No matter what you do, you will be on it. I just want to give thanks to God for keeping me alive, for making everything possible in my life. I met two wisdom in my life. I said, if one did not happen, the other one is going to happen. But God changed the way. He said, the way man thinks is, is only God who will make it to be another. Not the way you will think it. That is the way God will go to arrange it for you. But I just thank God for my life. God has so been faithful for me. I have mirror in my house. I never value that mirror, but since when I have, I be a mother. I value that mirror. When I look at myself, I say, God, this is me. I'm too small to be a mother, and you make it possible for me. I thank you. I see pray to God today. God has been faithful to me, have been stand there by me because I didn't expect it was not. It was nine years, it was nine months and two days. Even the day the doctor said I'm going to deliver was not that day. I'll be going before the baby is not moving. I will go for shaking and go back home. But this one, when I go, I did take anything. When I get there, the doctor is telling me I'm not going. I said, go and check the Canada you gave to me. The time you gave me is not yet. You have to allow me to, to go. He said no, that he has already given me everything that he need. I don't need to go to anywhere. I try, I try, I try, but God make it all possible. I pray that every woman will experience a child in their home in Jesus' name. The cry of a baby we hear in your home. And I use my senior sister as a point of contact that no matter what the enemy is trying, that we, if we have a patience in life, and God will make a way for you people and make a way for, for my sister in Jesus. Yeah. And I also want to thank God for today, for my husband. Sometimes my I'm very, you understand, but I just thank God. He always be here with me, but I'm trying people should see join me to be praying for that harshness. I know it's not good. Sometimes when I finish it, I sit and be thinking about it. What is wrong? But I just thank God that God will see me through. And I thank God for my beloved husband here. As God, I'm not going to thank you very much, but I will thank God who stood by him to make him to be there for me. And also give thanks to my bishop for the prayer, for the advice, for how he was taking care and asking. How is the baby kicking? How is the baby? And also thank God for the family of redemption and the mom for your prayer, for your support, for your advice, for being there for me. And I also give thanks to God for behalf of my, is my friend, Annabelle, she was there for me. And thanks to my daddy over there. And I also give thanks to my daddy for standing for the advice and everything. And I also give thanks to God, behalf of my father over there. I call him father. People may say he's small because he stands even when I give birth to him. My house, if I wanted to, if I wanted to open Africa shop, I will open. This was so close. I don't even know what to eat again. I want my brother to stand up to say, Hallelujah, brother Terry. <laughs> For be there for me, and I'm not there to say hallelujah. For be there for me, and I thank God for your prayer and support, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you all as you all know my great dedication and he say thanks. I want to say thank you all for having support to the family, support to the family. I and then the people who come from far 
I want to be there for me. I want to say thanks to them. And I want to say, say thanks to my papa over there. Thank you. you know. <laughs> but honestly, I want you to shout out, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I thank you, everyone, that God will make a way for us. People we say there's no way that God will make a way for you in Jesus' name. Amen.
столовую. Half of the sisters in this church, the dignity they are presenting this gift. Silver and gold we have none. Just use it to grow our baby. Every baby born in this church and the dead have such gifts. God bless you. Praise God. Let's be on our feet as we share the grace, please. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I shall not die. No man can see the end of your grace. God, oh, you are exalted. You are exalted. You are exalted. Unlimited God, you are exalted. Oh, you are exalted. You are exalted. Oh, Your grace. Hey.